Good morning, everybody. This is Daryl, Man With Sense, coming to you today with another review, uh, or my opinion of, should I say. Um, this one is on uh, Mason Alhambra's lovely Cherie. It's a uh, clone of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, if you couldn't guess. Got a really nice presentation. It's a lovely cherry. It's by Maison Alhambra. It's got Maison Alhambra on the top. Back. You got your authentication label. Uh, ingredients. In the bottom is batch code and uh, manufacturer information. Size of the bottle, 80 mil, 2.7 ounces. Nice presentation. Comes in, the bottle sits in like so. Just like the OG. This is the bottle. Do not pick these up by the cap because they just barely go on. <laughs> but um, bottles are nice, heavy. Nice plaque on the front. Mason Alhambra. Um, Metal plaque on the top, plastic lid. The, uh, I've got a, uh, get me a strip here. I can smell it. It, it. I've used it several times, but you guys might be able to see the spray a little better. This is the fresh. I've got one down here that's been on since 845. Boy, you get that cherry, of course. There's, uh, you got cherry and black cherry in here. Boy, that's nice right off the bat. It just did no alcohol, no nothing. It's just, just bam, cherry. There you go. Golly, that smells good. Um, The dry down here, oh man, it's been on, like I said, for well, about an hour and 15 minutes, I guess. It's 8.45. Boy, and it's still just pounding out. Um, boy, yeah, uh, you can get that alcohol, or not alcohol, I should say. It's a alcohol accord of some kind, liquory, like amaretto or something. Maybe that's what it's reminding me of. Yeah, De Sorno amaretto. Well, that's really, especially on the opening. Starts drying down, you can get some of that almond. And the rose in here is very faint, if, if you can smell it at all. The bitter almonds with the cherry and, and that licory vibe, it just makes me think of the Sorno Amaretto, which I haven't drank any of that in a long time. I quit drinking quite a few years ago, except for a beer every now and then. Uh, that Tonka bean in there, you can smell it. It it, it gives it that, uh, well, I don't know. It's a uh, comes off kind of aromatic maybe. <laughs> But the, uh, not the tonka bean, but the uh, amber. The uh, tonka bean in here, along with the toffee and all that, give you your sweetness, I'm sure. But, uh, man, let me tell you. Amber's a little musky, actually. Helps it kick off a little. Boy, it's real nice. Anyway, this last probably... I would say probably five hours on my skin and clothes it lasts even longer uh, if you get it on your clothes. But um, it's, that will vary on skin types, I'm sure. The uh, projection, when you first put it on, it's out there about six foot around you for the first hour, hour and a half. Um, 
Then it drops back in closer to you, about a foot and a half, just, you know, like a little scent bubble uh, for the next three or four hours. And it just kind of stays there until it just kind of fades off. Then you just reapply. Uh, I mean, I got, uh, I'd say it's probably from the sample I had and tried of Tom Ford, which has been a while back, I, I would say it's real close, guys. Um, from memory, I would say at least 90% close to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Uh, works very well on my skin. It does lean a little, little feminine for some, I suppose, but it does work well on me, uh, which, I, which, you know, there again, it may vary with different skin types. But this one, boy, just even in the air, boy, it's just, it's just so nice. <laughs> that dry down, boy. That they say that Peru balsam is a aromatic ambery scent profile also, which I mean that may help that may be what I'm picking up where it's projecting that that amber uh more you know musky to me. The uh things I would wear this for would be date night maybe, early spring, fall, winter. Uh definitely probably gonna be too sweet for summer. I mean, you, you might layer it in with something, but, you know, real light um, to help it out, but I don't know. And and also, I mean, I've layered this one with, with the Camera, and uh, I've also layered it with the uh, Choco Musk. I think I mentioned that in one of my other videos. I don't know if y'all watched them or not. <laughs> if you haven't, check them out. Uh, but, guys, that's uh, Mason Alhambra's Lovely Cherry or Cherie, however you want to say it. Uh, excellent, excellent scent. Check it out if you haven't.